Okay, uh, Ryan, in you know, a little over a week uh, gone here so far in camp, how does it feel? Uh, it definitely feels great to be back out here. I mean, in the summer, I'm not trying to say you, you get bored, but I mean, you come out here, you do seven on seven, you do the regular throwing sessions that we have two, three times a week, and you're just kind of itching to get back on the field, you know, put the pads back on, and kind of get back out here in the uh, competitive spirit of things. So it definitely feels great to be back out here with all my guys, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to the rest of camp. Now, uh, you started the last seven games last year, uh, going into your senior year, obviously, I'm sure you'd love to go out as the starter. Yep. I mean, how do you prepare yourself uh, for the competition for the starting job? Well, I mean, I mean, I think going into camp, this is my third year, going into camp with someone else that I'm competing with to be the starting quarterback. So I think learning from those, from, from those prior, prior experiences, you know, my sophomore year, me and, me and Blake went at it a little bit, and then last year, me and Pete went at it during camp. So I think, you know, using those experiences and then kind of changing some things around so hopefully I can be the starter going into week one. You know, just working hard out here, making my right reads, you know, making, making the right throws and just kind of leading the offense. I think that will help me, you know, kind of prepare for Lock Haven on the 30th. Now we have most of the top receivers are back from last year. Does that make your job easier, uh, oh. even though you're switching the offense a little yep. bit? I, it, I mean, it makes it so much easier you know, having Greg outside, Talbert's back playing wide receiver again. I mean, Blake is awesome. Sam, Sam, uh, Sam Ajala and Brian Wessel have yeah, been playing great in camp so far. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely a, a, a huge help for me to have those guys on the outside making plays in space, you know, and getting open for me and, and definitely catching the ball downfield. I asked Peter the same question. How does it feel playing for a, a head coach who was a former quarterback, but not only a former quarterback, but quarterback at the school you're playing I mean, for? Coach Morad is a, is a straight football genius. I mean, he knows everything about the game, especially playing quarterback. And, you know, I, I was reading through the program and, and I was kind of joking around with Coach Morehead. It says last year that during the Lafayette game, I threw for, I think, 413 yards, and it's tied for the third best game of all time with, uh, <laughs> with him. So I'm kind of joking around with him saying, you know, one or two more passes go my way, and he and he's moving down the list and I'm moving up. So, I mean, yeah, but playing, playing for Coach Morehead is awesome. He's a great coach, and I'm, uh, and I'm loving it so far. Great. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Thank you very much. Alright, so Peter, been to camp a little over a week now, had one scrimmage, how, does, how do you feel? Uh, it feels good coming back, uh, you know, I guess we're at practice 11, so you know, in the full swing of things, picking, picking it up, and uh, it's, uh, I mean, for me, it's, I enjoy it, you know, I know a bunch of guys have dead legs and stuff, but uh, you know, it's a blast coming out here, and uh, I think we're really starting to pick it up now. Now, how different is the offense from last year? I mean, obviously you had the spring to kind of start learning it, and you're really putting it to work now, how um, different is it? I think from day one, we could tell it's a lot more dynamic. 
um, you know, the, all the motions and, uh, and uh, you know, third phases of things that we're doing. Um, we expect a lot from not only the quarterbacks, but from receivers, you know, reading the defense. And, uh, and so, I, I, yeah, I just think it's a lot more uh, di uh, dynamic. How does it feel playing for a coach who is a former quarterback? Not only a former quarterback, but a former quarterback yeah, at your it's, school. It's, it's always <laughs> nice, you know, the head coach a little on your side. You know, he's a quarterback. He knows, knows he's been through it once, and uh, you know, it's really nice having an offensive guy as, as the head coach, especially for you know quarterbacks. Right. Now, I played high school football in Texas. Obviously, it's probably a little bit of a different uh, feeling mm -hmm. playing high school down there as compared to college up here. How did how was that adjustment for you uh, from high school to college? Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I mean, my town, you know, it was like 19,000 people total. Uh, I mean, it's, it wasn't a, a giant town, but it was pretty big. And it had that small town feel where, you know, you go somewhere and, you know, people recognize you, you know, a high school quarterback and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, that was, that was really fun. And, uh, you know, I got to you know, Im impact, you know, little kids and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, come up here a little different. Uh, you know, you're not, you're not around you know, uh, small town. You know, it's a big city up here. Right. And uh, the, that, was, that, was a big, that was a big change. Great. Thanks, Peter. Don't let him check it in. Go, 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 go,